So they boarded up the sulfur spring. You could still hear it. Ugh, it smells, man. It still really stinks even with the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. All right. So that's disgusting still. I forgot how disgusting that was. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, just for... <laughs> I had the same exact reaction when I was here last time. I got that on video too. Open to 1820. Man, this thing really, really stinks. That hotel across the way says vacancy. Wonder why it says vacancy. Okay. So now that I'm away from that smell, oh man, I'm not going back there again. I'm not revisiting that anymore. No, that's a bad time. Uh-uh. All right. I am going to go look for some diamonds or something. <clears throat> diamonds and flint. We'll see. So middle of the farms and I just see this sticking out of the trees. What the heck? Let me go see what that is. That's odd. So, cool. So, it's a monastery and a Russian history museum. I'll just walk around a little bit. the temple grounds here. Crazy. Let's go look around a little bit. Look at that. Alright, I'm actually just gonna walk around a 
walk around a little bit here. And... Wow. This is uh, really surprising here. Just saw this sticking out of the farms in the distance. Crazy. So this is an active church and monastery here. I'm unsure if I want to peek my head in or not. Oh wow. Alright, so, um, I just took off. It's right there. So, alright, so I did not go in. Uh, it said to, to enter, uh, I have to request assistance, and, uh, I think I had to, like, <clears throat> be properly, uh, dressed or something to go in. I'm, I'm not sure. So, I just, uh, I just bailed. Interesting, though. What'd you find? Lint. Oh, look at that. I saw this little piece. Like that grayish. It's not on a daga. It's got like banding. Yeah, it's like green, color. gray, blue. That's cool. Wow. I've not seen I've not seen this kind before. So mixed in with the Limestone. Wow, that's a really, really high quality plant. In my pocket. Mine. All right, so now I know what I'm looking for. So this, look, this looks a little different. Oh, wow. White flint. Look at that. I'll take a flake off. It's like freeze damaged in size a little bit. Yep. That is uh, super high quality though. It's just damaged. I take another flake off it might look a little better so white flint in new york that's more damaged up there but it's the uh chalky stuff Cortex. Yep. Put these flakes in my pocket. There we go. Okay, coming with me. So that's two different kinds on this in the same general area here. Okay. okay. I found this here. I saw that little bit of shiny and took a few hits and it's like a super high quality quartzite i did want to try over here where the color is yeah this went in there nice. cool 
all different kinds here. Keep looking. this which is definitely flint but it's not such high quality that is flint it's just damaged let's see if I could get this piece off cool that's a weird looking flint Yeah, plant with damage. There's not seem to be an awful lot here, but I did find some here. Uh, it's small pieces, small cobbles of extremely high quality stuff. I wonder which way it's coming from. The river is flowing that way. So it's probably coming from up there. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot here. Keep looking now. That looks like a limestone to me, but it's a lighter gray limestone. Yeah, that's a limestone. Very, very high quality limestone now. Let me try another section. No, this is actually flint. This tricked me. This is flint. It's just the same color as the limestone. So that's three different variety varieties right here. Huh. Crazy. Smells like gunpowder. <laughs> Smell it? Gunpowder. All right, my pockets are getting cold. I'll try another piece because of that last piece of flint that looked like limestone. 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 It looks the same on the outside. Yeah, it looks the same as the other stuff, but this is limestone. Hmm. One of the ways I've been able to tell limestone is these weird ripples in it, as well as it's just super grainy. So I've been doing this for days now, just looking at this. I'm starting to get rock blind again. I can't tell what's what, and when I look up, everything's moving all weird. Like... Wow. If anybody's wondering what this is, this is a, it's a ferro rod and a little piece of ceramic. And it's made by Wazoo Survival Gear. And what you do, I'll show you. Pull this down, and then you take this, and you can start a fire with it. So that's an awesome bit of uh, survival gear that you could get for yourself from Wazoo Survival Gear. Go check that out. I'll put the link somewhere, like here or down in the comments or in the description or something. I don't know. It's, it's a fun little thing. I always start fires with it and it's, it's, it's fun. I like it. Yep. Uh, I just don't want to leave because 
I would love to make something out of something big out of this kind of stuff. That is really pretty. Okay. Onwards. I found the only place in this section of the state that has any kind of coffee so I got two of them uh, I got a headache so uh, caffeine and Tylenol sun's going down uh, I found some promising locations today but I need to look into them more um, there is some creeks around here that I could get down to, but they are flooded. So I can't see anything in them right now. I'm going to look for some roadside stuff, I think. We'll see. For, as of right now, the sun's going down, and I'm not sure where to go. <sighs> Getting dark. Uh, I do not think I'm going to go back to the camp tonight. I think I am just going to take the straight drive home, and I'll be home at like 3 in the morning. So, you guys have a good one. I'll get back to you soon with more videos, and more rock hounding, and more adventure, more exploring, and hopefully more sightseeing. There's not too much along here that I can really stop at and look. Okay, catch you guys soon. Good night.